Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Comic Book Nostalgia. I'm CB Nostalgia, and we have a little update on Blue Beetle. Well, in case you didn't know, the production for Warner Brothers Blue Beetle got underway earlier this week. And like most sets, there are leaks, and we got an awesome first look at Sholo Maraduena in costume as the Blue Beetle. So let's not waste any time, we're going to dive in and check them all out. I want to give proper context to these pictures before we show them to you though. All these pictures are from Just Jared. You should check out their site. They do some great coverage of various movies, and I don't want to take credit for something that's not mine. Now, if you remember correctly, we had a pretty good idea of what to expect from this costume. We got some very early concept art at DC Fandom, and both Sholo and the director were both hyping up how awesome the costume is. And they were not kidding. Let's check out the set pictures. Now these pictures do show what appears to be some sort of action sequence with him landing on a car, but we also get a couple of shots offset that show Sholo with the mask off, as well as just a great look at the Beetle in costume. Now I have to say, when you say costumes are ripped right from the comics, this might be the textbook example. The suit itself is exactly what fans want, and it absolutely has fully embraced the character and what he looks like not only in the comics, but also in many forms of animation. Now, there were a lot of other reports going on around what's going on with this movie in the last couple of weeks. There was some back and forth between Sharon Stone and Susan Sarandon as a newly created character for the movie, and there was even a rumor yesterday that Jason Sudeikis would play Ted Kord, but apparently that has now been debunked. Some of the things we do know about the project, though, is Bruna Marconese is on board to play the female lead and Jaime's love interest, Penny. We also have Melissa Escobedo as Jaime's younger sister, and Harvey Gullion from What We Do in the Shadows has a role that's being kept under wraps, which leads lots of us to think he might be the villain. Now, this movie is pretty exciting and originally was going to be an HBO Max exclusive, but then the team over at Warner Brothers switched this up and it's set to hit theaters on August 18th, 2023. I have to say, I'm really happy to see these production pictures in action. Let's be pretty clear, Warner Brothers Discovery is cleaning a house, and I was worried this production, like Wonder Twins, could end up on the chopping block. Now that we see the movie in full production, I feel pretty confident it is actually going to get made and we're going to get to see it. And based on this costume, I think we should be pretty excited. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Jaime Reyes, a version of the Blue Beetle, that's okay. Ted Kord held the title for a really long time, but in 2006's Infinite Crisis, Jaime actually obtained the Blue Beetle and it was pretty much a full re-envisioning of the character. In a way, if I'm being honest, was much, much cooler than the previous versions of the Beetle. We're obviously going to follow this production closely. I think DC might have a hit on their hands here, and Cholo Maraduena is a rising star, so picking him to play Jaime Reyes is an absolute win. But until we get more information, what do you guys think? What do you think of this first look at the Blue Beetle costume on film? And how excited are you for this movie on a scale of 1 to 10? Sound off in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you hit like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you're not getting any updates. Peace.